is up good good people na it's a youness karibu kwenye channel ya maisha ya chuo na siku nyingine tena ambayo tunaenda kuongelea kuhusu mambo yote kuhusu chuoni um, na leo tunaenda kuongelea kuhusu chuo cha DIT chuo cha DIT ni chuo kimoja hapo kinachotoa mambo ya ya courses za engineering technology na vitu kama hivyo um huaga natoa ushauri mara nyingi kwamba ukiwa unataka kwenda kusoma mambo ya kozi fulani kwenye soko la ajira ni muhimu sana kusoma kwenye kutoka kwenye vyuo ambavyo vinajulikana kwa kozi hizo naona kwa mfano ni kwa naongelea kwamba kama unataka kufanya mambo ya accounting financing unakuwa na unakuwa uko vizuri zaidi kwenye kwenye soko la ajira ukisoma kwenye vyuo kwa mfano mzumbe au FM kwa sababu vinajulikana ni special of specialized kwenye mambo hayo. Haimaanishi ukisoma vyo vingine basi utakuwa utakosa ajira au itakuwa struggle ila kama unataka um, niseme yeye na muonekano mzuri kwenye soko la ajira lakini pia uwe na ujuzi mzuri na unajua wale wanakuwa na focus kwenye attention yao kwenye mambo hayo tu. Kwa hiyo watafursa na nini zinakuwa nyingi zaidi ukisoma kwenye vyo kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo kwenye masuala engineering na technology mambo ya science de, 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 ni vizuri sana ukisoma kwenye kutoka DIT ama ukisoma most chuo ambacho ninasoma mimi mbe University of Science and Technology hivyo yani tayari vina science and technology kwenye kwenye jina kwa hiyo obviously watakuwa na focus kwenye mambo hayo so leo tunaenda kuongelea DIT chuo ambacho kina campus tatu kina campus ya Dar es Salaam kina campus Mwanza na kina tawi lingine uh, songwe inaitwa Myunga campus. Chuo hiki kilianza mwaka 1997 na kinatoa kozi uh, za diploma, za undergraduate na za postgraduate. So leo tunataka kuongelea kozi ambazo zinapatikana kwenye chuo hiki. So tunze na diploma, wanatoa ordinary diploma in civil engineering wanatoa ordinary diploma in computer engineering wanatoa ordinary diploma in electrical engineering wanatoa ordinary diploma in renewable energy technology wanatoa diploma in biomedical equipment engineering diploma in electronics and telecommunications engineering diploma in mechanical engineering diploma in science and laboratory technology diploma in mining engineering diploma in information technology diploma um, in communication system technology uh, diploma ordinary diploma multi- multimedia and film technology mm wanatoa ordinary diploma in food science and technology ordinary diploma in biotechnology na in leather in leather products technology ah kija kwenye degree undergraduate wanatoa bachelor of engineering in civil engineering wanatoa in computer engineering wanatoa bachelor of engineering in electrical engineering wanatoa bachelor of engineering in electronics and telecommunications engineering wanatoa bachelor of engineering in mechanical engineering uh, wanatoa bachelor of technology in laboratory sciences bachelor of engineering in oil and gas engineering and bachelor of engineering in mining engineering na ikija kwenye master wanatoa wanatoa course kama nne masters of engineering in maintenance management uh or masters of technology in computing and communications masters of engineering in sustainable energy engineering and masters in computational science and engineering so hizo ndo um course zinazopatikana DIT na kama unatamani kusoma na uko unaanza eh hey, kozi ambayo unataka kuisoma nataka sikuchoa cha DIT je pale kozi gani inapatikana hizo ndo kozi zinazopatikana so kama unatamani kujua pia maelezo ya kozi mbalimbali kuna kozi ambayo tushaskava maelezo ya kili ujue uh, kozi ina usu nini kazi gani naweza nikaifanya nikisoma kozi hiyo maelezo yake yote hapo kwenye hii YouTube channel so Yeah, na mengine tutazidi kuendelea kutoa yani taratibu za tibi kila siku naendelea kutoa maelezo uh, ya kozi nyingine kwamba kozi na usu nini uh, vigezo gani ili usome kozi hivyo ni chuo gani vinatoa hii kozi na kazi gani unaweza kusoma kufanya ukisoma uki kozi hizi so that is it for today until next time kwaheri